When it comes to PCOS, exercise is an important part of your treatment regimen to control the symptoms and achieve your goals. Strength training basically means that you're going to um, exercise a group of muscles once a week. And the way we do this is to pick a machine may, that works the upper body, figure out, say it's a biceps exercise, figure out what the maximum weight that you can do, and set the machine to about 80% of that weight. You're generally not going to be able to do more than about 10 to 12 repetitions before the muscle tires out and you no longer can move the weight. At that point, stop, get up, get a drink, move around. After about two minutes, come back and exercise that same muscle again. This time you may be able to do one or two more. You may be able to do less than you did on the first time. Then after you fail, after the muscles fail and you can't move the, the weights anymore, come back and do a third run or a third set of reps to work that same muscle. Now here's the great part about this. Um, you really only need, want to and need to work that set of muscles once a week. If you are working out more than once a week, you're really not going to um, gain muscle mass. Now you're not going to look like those bodybuilders, but you will build and increase your muscle mass and lose body fat. So pick three to four machines for upper bodies on one session three to four machine lower bodies on another. If you can only get one session of exercise in a week, then do two to three upper, two to three lower once a week. And you might want to start off with the aerobic exercise. Um, earlier I said, boy, you don't want to go to town with aerobics, but anybody will benefit from 15 to 20 minutes of strenuous aerobic exercise. That's going to improve blood supply to the muscle and it will um, increase your exercise endurance. Unfortunately, the aerobic exercise plays little role in protecting the heart and uh, preventing diabetes. That's coming primarily from building muscle mass with doing an exercise protocol as we've just described. When you come back a week later, you may note that you're doing more reps than you did the week before. So you can get a little book, write it down, and you find that one week you did eight repetitions on the machine and now you're doing 12, at that point you may want to increase the weight by five pounds for your second set. Try not to increase more than five pounds a week but you will see gradual progress and after a couple of weeks you'll be lifting quite a bit more weight, your body fat will decrease, you'll find your cholesterol goes down and you're just going to feel better. Give it a try. What have you got to lose?